So it started off as a offline experiment into a college in Ghaziabad with an idea of bridging the gap between the college curriculum and the industry in order to make sure that the students who are coming out of these colleges are able to land up to their dream job. It was very evident that uh, the gap was huge mm. and students were not able to stand up to the expectations of the industry. As a result, we thought why not do an experiment, understand what is the gap, how mm. can we bridge it. So we've got a wide variety of courses for all the technologies that are across the IT industry. We've got cloud computing, mm. data science, artificial intelligence, business intelligence. We've got cyber security. The kind of courses that we have is we've got certification courses, self-learning courses, master's programs. It gives wider opportunities, opportunities for this learner to apply. As a result, the learner getting the job becomes much more probable. Going online was one of the motive because we wanted to reach everyone. Remotest areas of not just India but across the world. So hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Experts Ki Rai. Today we are at Nama Bangaluru at Edureka's office and we are going to speak to one of its founders, uh, Vineet Chaturvedi. He's quite a jolly person and a very fun conversationalist to have. Uh, we are going to talk to him about how did the idea of starting up Edureka came into picture and we'll get to know about Edureka as a whole. What are the courses that are offered and what can a learner gain from Edureka courses? We are also going to talk to other members at Edureka and they are also going to share us a uh, different insight about the courses that are offered at Edureka and what are the advantages and benefits that you get after you do a course from Edureka Platform. They are a very tough leading platform in education industry and which started since 2011. Um, it caters to all the programs that an IT professional must have. So stay tuned and watch this entire video to gain valuable insights. So how did the idea of starting up Edureka came into picture and you know that too in 2011? Yeah, I think uh, Edureka started with an idea of bridging the gap between the college curriculum and the industry. Uh, in order to make sure that the students who are coming out of these colleges are able to land up to their dream jobs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was very evident that uh, the gap was huge mm -hmm. and students were not able to uh, stand up to the expectations of the industry. Mm -hmm. As a result, we thought why not do an experiment, understand what is the gap, how mm -hmm. can we bridge it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it started off as an offline experiment into a college in Ghaziabad. Right. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with yeah. that. How did you think of it, like uh, that you'll change it towards online? Like how did that come into picture? I mean, did you always predict it that something online will go crazy? Like people will be learning through online mode? There hmm. were so many things that were online, right? Internet hmm. was with anyone and everyone, right? right. Everybody knew about it and exactly. we already yeah. saw so many benefits hmm. of internet. Though in 2011-12, people never imagined uh, they can learn online. Yeah. Right, and we used to get a lot. However, uh, when you see the benefits, mm. it sounds so obvious that it should be done online. True. We can bring the best of the best instructors who is there in some part of the world mm. to any student who is there in any part of the world. What do you think about uh, you know different educational platforms coming up? And uh, you know, as Edureka started at in 2011, did you imagine that everything will go online and there'll be so many platforms like Upgrad, Byju's, you know, An Academy? So many education platform coming up. So, see, what I, you, what's your opinion on it? My opinion is yes, we felt like this is the way, and mm. that's why we committed hundred percent onto it. Mm. We did not leave a room for any offline or any self paced We thought that okay, uh, uh, the next go-to way is uh, doing it live, instructor-led, mm. but online. Mm. Now we uh, we believed in it hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, other platforms coming into the picture over the years that was supposed to happen because yeah. the market is huge it cannot be catered by one single player right mm. and i would say more the merrier mm. right it eventually stabilizes our industry mm. and the edtech industry that we see today mm. is not just the result of the work that we have done but all of these organizations coming into the picture with the same line of thought mm. eventually makes this entire ecosystem so mm. i think it is a very good thing to happen mm. and it also gives us a, gives us a good competition to yeah. make us better faster yeah. and keep improving yeah how did edureka became a brand uh, you know something some a brand that everybody trusts so how did it became so renowned and trustworthy uh, 
So I think uh, the core of every business or every organization is customer success. And for us, even it was more important considering we are into the education business, right? Wherein we try and train and teach people, make careers out of them, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we place a very heavy focus on ensuring that we provide quality education, quality learning to our end learners okay. so that they are able to achieve the outcomes that they are eyeing for, right? Now all of this, all of this focus on every individual, every learner, every piece of their learning mm -hmm. brought in a lot of good word of mouth for us. What are the courses that Edureka has on its platform? If you can uh, talk about different programs, certification, self-paced, master's program, university affiliated program, all the programs that you can um, list down. Certainly. So we've got a wide variety of courses uh, for all the technologies that are across the IT industry. So if I have to list a few, so I would like to start with uh, DevOps, cloud computing, mm -hmm. data science, artificial intelligence, business intelligence, we've got cyber security. Mm -hmm. So these are our top courses. Mm -hmm. And uh, the kind of courses that we have is we've got certification courses. Right. We've also have uh, self-learning courses and we also have master's programs. So these, how different these master's programs are, the, these master's programs are eventually the consolidated courses. It's, it, it gives you as a package, you combine a few courses and mm. want to buy a package and you can call it a master's program. Okay. So these are the three different programs that we have. And we also have uh, university associated courses also mm -hmm. along with. What is the most commonly chosen program? So if I, if I look at the analytics mm. from the past uh, six months the most uh, commonly chosen programs would be uh, certification programs mm. so these are about 60% uh, of our overall uh, numbers yeah. and we've got 30% uh, of our uh, numbers are for our master's programs mm. and 10% uh, would be for self-learning okay. and yeah. uh, what is the most common um, subject that has been chosen by the learners see uh, Different uh, learners want different subjects. Right. So in terms of technology, if I have to talk about, mm -hmm. if I have to name a few top technologies that uh, you know most of the learners want to yeah. acquaint themselves with. So this would be uh, DevOps, cloud computing, okay. and business intelligence is one of them. Mm -hmm. Data science and project management methodology. So these are our top, okay. top. courses, yes. Okay. I also saw uh, that uh, there was a role-based combo program mentioned on the website. Correct. What are those and why did you uh, categorize it differently? Correct. So, uh, this, it is very important uh, to categorize uh, courses according to the requirements of the learners because uh, it's not just one sort of a learner we are giving these courses to. We get IT professionals with different experiences. I get IT professionals with one to three years, three mm. to five years. Mm. We, we, we even have 10 plus years and senior architect con consultants mm. wants to come and take these courses. I've got a good amount of uh, students and graduates who want to kickstart their career, mm. also want to take these courses. Mm. So what happens, uh, the job descriptions in the IT industry needs, uh, some of them needs a tool-based expertise, some of them needs a multi-tool based expertise. Some job descriptions uh, require you, uh, required, it, it needs the candidate to have multiple skills, right. not just one. Mm -hmm. So considering all of that and the requirements that we get from customers. Mm. So it is very important for us to categorize uh, these skills and certification. It ro it's role based, so um, what are different uh, roles? So for an example, uh, if I have to give you, uh, we have Power BI certification training versus mm -hmm. we have a business analyst master's program. If a learner takes Power BI certification training, he can only apply for Power BI jobs. Mm -hmm. But the same learner, if he takes business intelligence master's program, he can apply for business analyst, data specialist, data analyst, uh, BI professional, mm. Power BI developer, Tableau professional. So it gives wider opportunities for this learner to apply. As a result, mm. the learner getting the job becomes much more probable. Mm. So, which is why we have defined it and it comes in very much handy for these learners mm. to achieve their goals. Let's talk about internship programs. I think that's also listed on Edureka. Right, yes. So uh, currently we have uh, three internship programs that we are running on uh, data science, cyber, cyber security and full stack. Mm. So uh, full stack is one of those uh, technologies uh, which gives a lot of opportunities for uh, students and uh, fresher, mm -hmm. freshers who are freshly graduated from colleges. So uh, 
so the main agenda is to give them the required hands on experience so that they are job ready from these internship uh, programs and whatever the projects that they work during these internship programs also um, give them a lot of uh, rec recognition while uh, they apply and get shortlisted for these uh, jobs. What is the fees ranging for these programs? So the fee is not uh, definitely expensive mm. so it's very much affordable and we also give uh, three months EMI for these programs. Gotcha. So our uh, current price for these programs is uh, 20,000 uh, plus okay. tax. Are there any EMI options or um, any facility for the learners um, currently at Edureka? Yes, we certainly do have a lot of EMI options. Mm -hmm. We do have uh, debit card EMI options, credit card EMI options. Uh, we also are partnered with some of the financial uh, vendors mm -hmm. uh, who can convert the uh, course fee into three to six months EMI. Okay. And uh, for the university uh, acquisition courses, we have uh, 12 months EMI as well because the the amount for these courses is a uh, little bit on the higher yeah. ticket size, correct? So in order to match the affordability and uh, to make it a, a monthly or a consecutive investment from the learners, yeah. uh, we are providing EMI options. Mm -hmm. yes. What according to you is currently the highest paying salary job a person can get into? AI, data mm -hmm. science, cloud DevOps and project management uh, jobs are highly payable. Mm -hmm right now in the industry. How is Edureka different from other uh, platforms, other education platforms? Okay, um, Edureka, uh, we we work on our uh, product and processes uh, mm -hmm. uh, where it is more of customer centric Okay. and uh, the customers have lifetime access to all their courses which they have enrolled for. Okay. They will be able to uh, take up any of the course versions free of cost uh, okay. once it is upgraded. Mm -hmm. They have uh, lifetime access to the support system mm -hmm. and uh, apart from these uh, we have a very comprehensive and well structured course content mm -hmm. uh, which meets the industry standards mm -hmm. and uh, we have um, uh, all our instructors who are industry experts. Talking about the faculty members, how are the faculty members, you know, uh, categorized and what are the parameters, uh, how they are qualified to, uh, you know, become an instructor? We have a wide pool of instructors mm. where uh, we choose them uh, based on their total experience on that particular technology mm. or uh, followed by the projects they have worked on on that mm. technology, their skills, their certifications. Mm. These are major criteria which we select uh, our instructors from. So like how do you shortlist them? Like uh, uh, just for an example, if uh, there is a course of business analytics or cyber security, so how do you select uh, uh, the instructor for that particular program? We we check out if he is actually working, had a work experience on that particular technology. Okay. And if he's worked on that particular technology, the total experience based on that technology. Mm. And we look into the projects, mm. then he might have certifications related to the particular technology. Uh -huh. So maybe global certifications are also an added uh, advantage. So these are the things. Mm -hmm. If I have taken a program and all of a sudden like after like two, three weeks I have an issue, I have some query up, uh, about the curriculum. So whom do I call? Like support system? You can, uh, yes, connect with our... Uh, or the teacher? You can ask the instructor as well okay. or you can ask the support. Okay. So uh, we have a very flexible system mm -hmm. where uh, if you are in class you can ask the instructor mm -hmm. or if you are out of the class then you can ask uh, uh, support. Okay. So talking about 80% completion rate and then you said about the support system. So okay. elaborate more about uh, what kind of support system Edureka has. All right. So um, we uh, we understand the customers have different um, queries coming up during their learning phase. Mm -hmm. And to cater to that, we, we do have a uh, well-established and trained support system. Mm. So our teaching assistants uh, would help them with their technical queries okay. and we do have a non-technical uh, okay. uh, support as well. Okay, so there's technical and non-technical yes. support. Also, um, just wanted to know about the audience uh, at Edureka's platform, like what kind of audiences are more in numbers? Uh, do you guys cater to tier 3 and tier 2 audiences? And are you guys doing anything for the, you know, some non-privileged uh, students or learner? So, uh, first of all, going online was one of the motive because we wanted to reach everyone, hmm. right? Not only get stuck to 
tier 1 cities but also go into tier 2 tier 3 and the most remote remotest areas of not just india but across the world mm. right so that was the whole reason why we went online mm. so obviously we have many students coming from various regions across the world mm. we keep doing some free programs as well so not just we don't only have paid learning programs but we have free youtube channel wherein we have uh, approximately 3.5 million subscribers right and we keep creating content and all mm. of this content is free to consume right great 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 talking to you vineet same here that sums up our conversation with vineet